It's a 56 pound canoe. That was pretty dang easy to load. What I've made is a roller here. I actually used an industrial roller and some conduit. Use the conduit to extend the uh, pieces of it. This thing, I just drop it in to these holders. These, uh, these supports stay bolted in place. I don't take them off. They're just bolted into the existing rack. And after I get done loading the canoe onto there, I actually take this roller and pop it back out of there and then I can use my cam straps to tie it down into my two uh, existing cross rails. Makes it very, very easy for one person to load. I know that a lot of people don't have access to an ice welder or uh, you know, the means to cut a uh, industrial roller in half and extend the pieces. So uh, for most people, and actually for my own use, a piece of PVC would have been better. So uh, what you can do is get yourself a couple old skateboard wheels. And I believe that that is probably a 3 8 diameter axle that's on the inside of that. So uh, if you can get yourself some 3 8 inch all thread or uh, just a 3 8 inch rod and some means of threading it or it, anything like that. Uh, and then get yourself a piece of PVC. That's a large enough diameter, of course this one isn't. And squeeze it over the end of that uh, skateboard wheel. And that can be your uh, roller. So you'd have to make sure, for one thing, that your roller was long enough to fit between your frame rails. Let me turn this guy around. So you want it to be long enough so you can fit between your frame rails. You'd have to come up with a means of making a bracket to hold the end of your all thread. Of course you'd bolt through that then. So what you would need is a jam nut that you actually bring up to the, uh, roll, the skateboard wheel that's inside of it and then you would need to have another jam nut just on the side of the bracket and then another jam nut on the outside. So you'd end up needing uh, six bolts for the axle itself. And uh, you know if you want to if you can't find a piece of PVC that fits perfectly over the skateboard wheel, you could always try to cut the skateboard wheel down somehow. Uh, maybe uh, tighten down the nuts on uh, the axle really, really tight so that it won't spin and chuck up a drill to the axle. Maybe uh, rotate it against a file or something like that uh, if you don't have access to a lathe. Uh, and then you probably won't be able to find a piece of all thread that's long enough to go the entire length of your uh, roller. So what you'll want to do is uh, possibly find a piece of conduit or uh, you know a piece of pipe, something that is rigid but long enough to go the extent of your uh, roller itself and uh, you know glue it in place inside of it, JB weld it, do whatever you need to do to actually get the uh, all thread firmly in place inside of that tube that runs the entire length of the inside. You could technically just have your bracket bolted through the uh, piece of uh, put the piece of all thread through the bracket and then run that just into the skateboard wheel and not have a through tube inside of this. But what that's going to allow it to do is actually bend down whenever you load it. So it's going to tweak those down a little bit to an extent. It might possibly damage your frame rail. It depends on how, sorry, your frame rail, your, um, uh, why have I lost this? Roof rack. Your roof rack rail. 
Uh, it might possibly cause that to tweak a little bit, lift up from your roof. It might cause damage to your car, so it's better to have the through rod in the center of it. Uh, you could also use a piece of PVC for that if you can find a piece of PVC that's got a small enough uh, inside diameter for the all thread. Uh, yeah, that would actually be a better means because this isn't going to mar your uh, canoe. The piece that I used, I actually ended up coating with uh, uh, Plasti Dip, which was a big mess. I highly recommend the spray cans of it versus trying to roll it on or paint it on or something like that because this is really rough and possibly will not cure properly because it's thicker in some areas than it is in others. Uh, yeah, use the spray cans with this stuff because the other way it does not work well. Uh, unless you thin it and try to spray it on with an industrial sprayer and there again you run into equipment issue. Uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is that PVC will break down in ultraviolet light. So you will not want to store it in your car, on your car, or anything of the sort. You know, leaving it in there in the, for the afternoon while you're canoeing, that's fine. But uh, don't leave it in the sun for any length of time. Because it will break down and just shatter into a million pieces. Yeah. That's it.